from here booktubes in today's holiday romance recommendations these are ones that i have read and loved i have a ton on my list to read so i will be doing a separate video of holiday books that i have not read prior to filming this video the only year that i've ever read any holiday romance whatsoever was last year i didn't read a ton of it there were some that i hated some that i loved so I'm going to talk about the ones that I loved. Full disclosure, several of these are by Jessica Godziella and I plan on rereading all of Jessica Godziella's holiday books. So they're really good. <laughs> all right, I have two Thanksgiving books and they're both by Jessica Godziella. The first is There Better Be Pie. And this one, her parents invite the love interest to their New England house for the Thanksgiving weekend and they can't stand each other. She doesn't understand why people don't hate him. He doesn't understand why people don't think that she's a spoiled brat. And, you know, obviously they had some false assumptions about each other, but it's a little bit of a hate to love romance over the course of a weekend. And it was cute and sweet and I loved it. Next is Stuffed, a Thanksgiving romance, but also by Jessica Gaziella. She hasn't been home in six years and it's her brother's best friend and her childhood crush and he's there of course he's very involved in the family's life and it's them having a romance and it was really cute I'm not a huge fan of the brother's best friend trope and I did really enjoy this one next I have Christmas and I have the boss who stole Christmas which is reindeer falls number one by Jana Aston. So her boss is really hot. He's also a little bit of a Scrooge. It turns out this is a hate to love where it's mostly just hate in her head and he's really into her and she doesn't realize it. And they have a business trip together and it's very Christmas themed. The whole town is very Christmassy. I believe the main character's name is very Christmassy. And um, it's them falling in love on a business trip with you know her hot grumpy boss who may or may not be that grumpy. <laughs> Next I have Unwrapped by Jessica Gaziella. She wants to have Christmas to the max, so she drives up to a cabin to have Christmas for one. There's a snowstorm, she gets stranded, yada yada yada, and ends up being Christmas for two. And she already had like her entire car packed to the gills with Christmas stuff. And it's just them being all Christmassy and cozy in a cabin while meeting and falling in love and that stranded trope. And I love it, it was excellent. Next day of Christmas Alpha by Carol Mortimer. He is being stalked by an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> She's not from the agency that he ordered. There's a blizzard. She's stranded. The stalker may or may not show up. And um, he's also a little bit famous, I believe, but in like a artsy kind of way, maybe. Can't quite remember. Um, so at first he thinks that she's crazy, but she just, you know, She's just doing her job. And again, weather leaves them stranded and they get all Christmassy. And next I have Oh Christmas Sling by Francesca Penn. This is the only book that I've read so far this year for holidays. We get smut on the very first page because she had a one night stand with her boss's boss's boss. And that's where we open up. So we get smut on the very first page. Now it's like Eight months later, they haven't talked, they haven't done anything, and that's Christmas time, and he's trying to convince her to try and make them an actual thing. And it takes her like the whole book to really get on board. We get different sexy times, but um, as far as giving him her heart, that takes like the entire book. And there are some separations. So there's that. Not my favorite of things, but it was still really good. And I do like this author. Next, I have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fourth book. It's a novella in the Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And this should very much be looked at as a Christmas novella. Nothing is going to happen. It's just them being all Christmassy. That's it. There is no plot. There is nothing big happening. This is a look into the inner circle at Christmas time. And that's it. If you go into it expecting a Christmas novella, you'll probably enjoy it. If you don't, you might be disappointed. <laughs> but it was fun to see our favorite characters during Christmas. This is obviously something that's very popular amongst romance books to do a Christmas peek at your favorite couples. And so I did really like it. I do think that if they'd had it come out in December and advertised it as a Christmas novella, it would have done better than it did. 
Last but not least, I have a New Year's Eve novella, and this is NYE by Jessica Gaziella. She's a party planner, and she is going to do this giant New Year's Eve party, and he is just micromanaging everything and just being a nightmare to work with. He's overbearing. She can't stand him. Sparks fly. It's a beautiful thing. Like I said, I have a ton of books on my Christmas holiday list this year. I have a bunch more Thanksgiving ones. I read several Halloween ones, already covered several of those. So I plan on reading more Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve ones. And I'm going to let you know all the ones that are on my list in a couple of weeks or a week or something like that, whatever, whenever the video is scheduled. So let me know your favorite holiday romance. I'd love to read it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.